Hi, this is Misha. Got another AR-15 for you. Today we have a pistol. And this is built from a Colt LE-6945 upper receiver assembly. And it's pretty much on a generic lower. This is an Anderson lower with a generic uh, parts kit. And in the back we have a uh, shockwave arm brace with a standard weight spring and buffer inside. This is actually Jay's lower and I just had this upper command so we just dropped it on to go out and test fire and it did it very well. Held up. This is the, I, I, I kind of think the 6945 is an interesting upper. What we have is, this is Colt's monolithic receiver. This top rail is not only one continuous piece, it's actually one, this whole part is one piece. The side rails, the top rail, it's all one piece with the upper. You've started to see this around 2003 from Colt, and it was released several years later to the commercial market. Most people are probably most familiar with the uh, 6940, which is the 16 inch barrel version. Has an M4 style barrel, but longer. There's also the 6944, which is a 14.5 inch barrel version. And a 6943, which is an 11 and a half inch, so more of a commando, you know, XM177 length, but it's a heavier barrel version with the 6945 being the shortest. This has the 10.3 inch, so it's a Mark 18 length and profile barrel. This is a government profile. It's skinny under the hand guards and it gets fat right out here. So it's not a heavy SOCOM profile. It's an authentic Mark 18. And the, specifically the 6945 is the name that Colt uses for the semi-automatic. The 6946 is identical, but it would be a, a factory select fire gun. So in addition to this being a monolithic upper and having the 10.3 inch barrel, this is a one in seven twist, chrome lined, magnetic particle tested. This is threaded half by 28 with the A2 flash hider. This does not have the bayonet lug on. Colt does not tend to put the lugs on their factory uppers, but they do sometimes leave the lugs on their so-called conversion kits, their CKs. So you'll see some of these with the bayonet lug here and some without. Honestly, it's pretty vestigial, so it doesn't really do any good. We have a low profile gas block with a flip front sight. I'm gonna point this at you. Flips up, it's adjustable, and it locks. So there's a release here to fold it back over. But to deploy, you just flip up. Because this is a monolithic upper, this is only attached in the back. This allows your barrel to be free floated. We have QD sling swivel holes, one on this side one on this side as you see and the bottom rail is removable for attaching a 203 style grenade launcher or other device or just for inspection and cleaning and it actually comes off very easily there's a button that's recessed in one of the grooves you just use a bullet tip or other similar tool to press it in and then it just pulls straight off very convenient As you see, there's a patent on the side here. This is a patented upper. Originally, these came with Maytac rear sights. More recently, they've come with a Magpul polymer, but I just put this metal sight on. I'm actually not even sure the brand. It came in on some used guns. I just put it on for today's shooting. I thought it matched up better with the metal front than the uh, polymer Magpul. And that's really about it. We have a carbine length gas system. We have a port cover door, brass deflector, forward assist. These come from the factory. 
with a standard M4, M16, full auto style uncut bolt carrier, bolt group, standard charging handle. They also ship with one 30 round mag, metal, a small mag pouch for it, which is kind of neat. They come with this QD swivel and sling cleaning kit and uh, manual. Oh, and they also come with uh, three rail covers, uh, ladder, mag pull, rail covers. So they come with a few accessories. And that's about it. We enjoyed shooting it. It was very smooth, very soft recoiling. And I mentioned at the beginning of the video, this has a standard weight buffer and spring, and yet it was still reliable with, believe it or not, uh, Russian brown bear ammo. So if it was reliable with that, it's going to be good with anything. We had no failures of any kind. Just a fun little gun. It's very compact. It's about six inches shorter than your standard M4, M4A1. And while this is not a Mark 18 clone itself, this is a unique Colt upper mated with a Mark 18 profile barrel from the factory. This is not a cut down. I know that Chris Bartachi thinks the 16940 monolithic upper is pretty much the pinnacle of Colt's AR-15 development. He thinks this is really the best they did, at least in 223 and, and so on. They are very well done uppers, but they're getting quite hard to find today. Anyway, I just thought we'd bring this to you pretty quick. We don't do a whole lot with ARs, especially AR pistols. Had this upper come in, Jay had the lower. Seemed like a good match. It was one sunny day out of a whole week of rain. <laughs> So we hope you enjoyed it, and we'd love to hear about your own Mark 18s or similar guns. I know they're a very popular gun to clone. I myself have done a couple in the past, and they are. They're, they're very compact, very fun. And unlike some of the shorter barrels, seven, seven and a half inches, these can be made to be very, very reliable like any other gun. They're not really in the, in the novelty range. They can be serious guns. That's why guns like this, the LE 6945, are marketed towards and purchased by many police departments and others because they are reliable and they're built for being duty tough. Well, if you liked the video, we'd appre appreciate it if you could click like. And if you'd like to help support the channel, let us get to the range a little more often, please check out the link to our Patreon page. This is Misha, and we'll catch you next time.